Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I just filmed this a second ago and I said Tuesday, loaded it into my computer and everything and I was like, oh my gosh, it's what what day is it even? It has been crazy over here. Uh, I'm trying to get this edited before our electrician gets here today for a remodel. If you haven't seen any of those videos, I'll link some for you. But yesterday I had literally no internet and half the house had no power all day and I was just struggling to get by. And then I was like, oh snap, like I can't get any of my videos up today. What the heck? There's no internet. It's just crazy like all the stuff you do with internet. But today's video is part two of last week's part one of a TMI pregnancy Q&A. Nick actually makes a really cute cameo in this one too, which is just so funny. He must have been like walking by the door and like listening. I don't know. But um, I thought this was going to be like a slightly longer video, but it turns out that I put like a bunch of the questions in the other one. So there are still some here today that I find to be great questions. So hopefully you do too. And if I didn't answer any, leave them in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I'm editing this video right now and I was like, this is so awkward. There's like no intro or outro because I just took part of the questions from last time. So hopefully my messy hair, no makeup, haven't brushed my teeth yet works for you for an intro. And if not, oh, you may not like it on this channel because this is kind of how I do things. <laughs> Enjoy. Have you managed a uh, coffee intake? I gave up and have a cup of coffee every day. So I drink espresso. I don't drink coffee, like a cup of coffee. So I do n the Nespresso machine. So in Nespresso pods, they're in the decaf ones. There's about two grams of caffeine in there. And supposedly you're allowed to have around, I think it's 250 milligrams of caffeine per day. And <clears throat> so yeah, I've, I've switched to pretty much only decaf pods. I'll have maybe like one double espresso a week. And other than that, I'll have like one or two a day of that. And so yeah, I would say I've definitely, I've definitely cut it way, 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 way down. And I don't really drink or eat a lot else with caffeine in it. Like I don't eat a lot of chocolate. Um, I don't drink a lot of soda. So I, my, my caffeine has definitely been kept at a very minimum. And in one cup of coffee, there's more caffeine than in a regular espresso. So I don't think it's the end of the world, but if you can find something different, you know, people, you have to choose what you're going to give up during pregnancy and what you're, you know, not going to give up. And I feel like that's maybe a whole other video in itself because I have been keeping a list of things that I will not eat or drink or do and things that people like online sites will be like, oh, you probably shouldn't do this. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm still doing that. One of those being kombucha. I'm still drinking kombucha. One of the things being that I won't, I won't eat sprouts anymore. So so you just have to figure out what works for you and talk to your doctor. Nursery room ideas. Okay, so yeah, I'll have to link you guys to my Pinterest board in the description box because I will um, I will link you guys and you guys can kind of see like what I got on there. Are you going to show your kid on the internet? Yes, I am. Uh, oh, I just wiped a bunch of this mask off under my nail. Oh. I think when Nick and I first started dating, that that was something that we talked about, and he, I don't think he was super, super comfortable with it right off the bat. Um, and we'll have to revisit that conversation, but uh, this... What do you want to revisit? <laughs> Come in. Step into my office. Someone said, are you going to show your kid on the internet? And I think when you and I first started dating, um, you kind of didn't seem like super keen on that. Mm, yeah, I but see why you wouldn't. well, you specifically, I think I remember you kind of being like, eh. Yeah. I feel <laughs> the same way. Yeah. So I think we'll have to, you know, I don't think we want to like pimp our child out on the internet. Yeah, I'd rather not. You know what I mean? But like, yeah. I'm definitely gonna post pictures of her. Yeah. So, and then um, there was another really good question for you. Let me read it to you. Will Nick be taking a paternity test when baby girl arrives? <laughs> Maury Povich, call me. I'm only doing it on, on air with Maury. <laughs> But yes, I am doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be sure that baby's mine. 
Um, I haven't had sex with another man since before you asked me to be your girlfriend. I've seen you hug a ton of people, so could be anybody. <laughs> Is that how babies are created? No doy. Is that what we did? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're funny. I love that you just like walked by at that perfect time. Uh, here's a good one. How has your skincare routine changed with being pregnant? <sighs> so, <clears throat> um, I was using the Murad retinol stuff and I don't use it anymore. And honestly, I haven't had as much time for skincare as I wanted to, uh, but luckily we're doing it tonight. But yeah, I, I'm not doing anything with retinol. So that's kind of the only thing that I've changed. That's the only thing that my doctor said I needed to change. What's your most annoying symptom? Mine was bloody noses like every other day. So my most annoying symptom is um, uh, my sacrum. My sacrum has been hurting pretty much like all the time. So that one is just super annoying. Like my back just hurts all the time. Like I'll want to walk on the treadmill and do like a three mile walk. And it's, I, all my, the rest of my body could keep going, but it's like my back, like, it's just like, no, no bitch. Like sit, <laughs> sit your ass down. Can you show us your postpartum belly skin? Does it go back? I think that's genetics. I think a lot of that is like how elastic your skin is. Um, and I think I might be in good hands because I don't have any stretch marks anywhere on my body right now, except for my boobs. And I think the only reason I have stretch marks on my right tit is because I got my boobs done. And then almost a year later, I got them done a little bit bigger. And that was an ape. That was April 1st that I got that done. And then I got pregnant. So they're just going through a lot of changes right now. And I think that that's the only reason I even have stretch marks. I asked my mom if she had stretch marks with any of like me or my brothers. And she said, no. Thanks for watching guys. I'm in like a totally different setting than I was in the video. Cause I am editing this video right now, desperately before my electrician gets here and shuts off all my freaking power possibly and internet for the day, for sure. The internet. Uh, so yeah, I thought this was gonna be a little bit longer, but I did love Nick's little cameo <laughs> and there are even more questions that I realized when I was kind of looking back at this that I didn't get to answer. So I think we might need to do another one in a little while. Once I feel like I know a little bit more about what I'm going to buy, what I'm not going to buy, things like that. Um, but if you have any ideas of like things that you want to see in a video, let me know in the comments below. Uh, wish us luck on all the house stuff today. Not having internet all day is like really rough as it turns out, especially when all you do is work on your computer, but hopefully I'll survive. Um, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.